Hey Jelly Babes, welcome back to my channel. So I have some goodies from Born Pretty that I'm going to be reviewing for you today. So thank you so much Born Pretty. Um, all details are in the description box. Uh, please use my 10% discount code as well, which is gel10. Um, that will work even if the item is already on sale. So I'm so glad of that because their items are always on sale, but you can still use my code and get another 10% discount off it as well. So this is their magnetic polish. So this is pearlescent magnetic series and this is Wish of, sorry, Wish and Star or Wish of Star or something like that. So it's a lovely grey pearlescent um, normal polish and this is a no smudge top coat as well. So I've got these magnets that I'm going to be testing out. So this is just a normal cat eye one. Um, like this end is the cat eye where you get that nice line. And then this is where you can put like an S bend, especially if you use two of these. Still mastering that effect. And then I've got this one, which I've not used a magnet like this before. I do love the detailing on the handle. So in this one, you've kind of almost got like a flowery shape, I'd say. And then... This looks like something that you would plug something in to charge it. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm, I'm intrigued to see how these ones are going to work out. So I'm going to apply this polish first. So it's um, a nice consistency. There's no nasty smells or anything like that. And like I say, it's got just like a little bit of a pearlescent shimmer in it. So I'm just going to apply this straight. It's going straight on to... Um, a, a pop stick basically just because I wanted to sort of have a bit of a play around with the magnets so please bear with me I normally work with gel polish not normal polish so application may not be that great <laughs> so basically I'm just going to be showing you the cat eye now so ooh, that's really nice so you've got that gorgeous silver flash of color and then you've kind of got like a sparkly effect obviously that must be the pearlescent effect so I'm going to try and keep the magnet on it because I do know like with normal polish it can spread and I don't know why that is. Like it looks gorgeous but then when it dries it's much thicker as you can see here. So I'm going to be applying their top coat and I'm going to try a technique that uh, I think Manisha M said about. She either told me in a comment or mentioned it in a video anyway that you apply the normal top coat and then hold the magnet there and then that's meant to make it go sharp again. Obviously, you can do this with normal polish. You wouldn't be able to do it with gel polish because once it goes into the lamp and cured, that is it. It's dry. So I'm just going to show you some different ways. So you can just hold the magnet at different angles and you're going to get different effects, basically. So I kind of hold it there for about 10 seconds, as close as I can to the nail. And take it off. And there you go. You can have that kind of like a... a a curved line going down the nail. I do love a good magnetic polish. So I'm going to hold the other end now. So you can hold it there and then obviously it kind of almost looks a little bit like, you know, like a peek into a starry night, something like that. Just so you've got the grey clouds and it's just got a little bit of an opening. And that's that look. So you can see the starry, starriness underneath. And then I'm going to be using this and it didn't seem to want to do anything. I mean, you can see how close I'm holding it to the nail and it's just like I had a little dent. So I was basically moving this all around. I don't know whether it, it had just, I mean, I can't see it have dried that quickly. I mean, it's normal polish, but yeah, that didn't really have a very great effect. So then I, you can see, I literally just put the bottle down. That's what I did with the other one. And then this one, it kind of, I don't know, I don't really know what it's meant to create, but it creates lines. I don't know if it's meant to make almost like a 3D effect or like an embossed effect or something like that. But it kind of almost like loses its look, like it goes on quite sharp and then as it dries, it kind of just loses it. So I actually got a different, I got a gel polish. I thought, right, I'm going to try it with a gel polish, see if it works better, because I know that this doesn't dry. So this is my Madame Glam 5D polish, and I'm going to hold this magnet, like daisy looking flower over the top of it. And something is happening. So it's not that the magnet doesn't work. It just didn't particularly seem to work very well with that normal polish. And 
it's well <laughs> not great as results even with the gel polish so you can see here you kind of got that like lined effect going across the nail like so so it is working a bit better with gel polish but like I said I'm not 100% sure how you're meant to use it to get the best look out of it so basically I'm just going to continue to play around with this magnet and show you the different looks and I'll meet you back in a bit So here are all of the end looks and mm, yeah, the jury's out on this one. <laughs> I'm not, yeah, I'm not that impressed even when using it with the gel polish. But there you go, Some this, sometimes this happens. I don't know, maybe you've, you've used it and you've got fantastic results, but this was my first play with it and obviously it did work, but I'll probably just stick with the cat eye uh, look. So moving on now, so I've got this gorgeous um, plate. So this is from their artist collection. Um, and I really, really like it. I'm just going to turn that light off just so you haven't got that glare, just so you can have a little bit of a look. So it's kind of like lots and lots and lots of dots, basically, that make up these really cute images. So you want to remove the blue protective film, like so, before stamping. And then I'm just going to get straight in and see how this swatches. So um, I've put these over the, do you know when I did my Beauty Big Bang Duo Chrome Flaky video? If you've not seen it, I'll put links to it. Um, those are the bases for this. I just thought it, um, it would go really nice. So you can see I'm not having any issue with pickup, even though these are, like I say, like fine little dots. All of it's been transferred nicely onto the nail i mean like, yeah generally with born pretty like stamping products i don't i very very rarely have an issue so um i'm really i'm really pleased with that but i'm really liking this plate i i like love this effect it's so simple but i just think it's quite striking really and i think um you know you can create some some gorgeous nail arts um with this plate some sort of you know simple but striking nail art so you go you've got a bit of a layered image going on there So I think this image here is real cool. So you can, obviously it's got, um, you know, it's circular, so you place it straight onto the nail. And then these images that are next to it, you can actually place inside. So it's kind of a bit of a, like a cool frame, as it were. So you can see, it's got that two images there and you can place them in. So you can do nail art like that, which I just think is really cool as well. So I'm gonna just do it another time, but I'm gonna use the different stamping polish. There you go that's what it looks like when it's gold and i'm going to take these like palm tree images and place them in the middle of it as well so i do like that when you can kind of mix and match the images together
So that is the last swatch. And in case you're wondering, this was the gold stamping polish that I was using. So it is Born Pretty. It's from their White Knight series and it's in fire or on fire or something like that. So here are the swatches all together. So I absolutely love this plate. I love the images on it. It's super, super cute. I think it looks gorgeous over that duo chrome base as well. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this review. Um, sorry, I couldn't do wonders with the magnetic magnets. <laughs> you know what i mean but yeah but i really had fun playing with the products nonetheless and like i say all details and links are in the description box below so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye